focused on the girl who told us her favorite movies, everything, everywhere, all at once. And I told her that why those two eyes are there. Right? They represent awareness, yes. They make the world alive, yes. But it's based on a design that is in cinema. It's like a template that every movie uses to construct their scenes around. Everything you see, the camera movement, everything is around those two eyes, right? How do we call those two eyes? The stare. The stare, right? Why do we call it the stare? Can you, do you remember or not? No, just a few things that usually it's associated, everything is associated at the eye, the stare. What is the stare? Tell us first. Two eyes looking through. Two eyes looking through, right? So it's like, why the idea, how is it associated with awareness? It's like you're looking through your reality, like you're looking through uh, beyond your own person, your own individual self. You're looking through how everything is connected. An idea that you could say it's more, I forgot the word now, whole, holistic, right? It's more holistic. Now, the two eyes, why do we say it's the stare? Right? Because usually it is around, we learn this from cinema, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't claim, cinema didn't create this. Everything is a concept of the mind. How is this a concept of the mind? It's like, uh, it's a concept of the mind that have been passed uh, through the human experience, through art. It's captured in art. So the two eyes, the idea of awareness, somehow um, uh, get together and it's been passed as a language. Like the, So we have like a one template there, the two eyes looking through. And the, the name is the stare. But see, I, I, I'll see. Usually then they're together, right? The twins, because remember, two eyes. So the twins. Look how in language this is represented. It has a language dimension, always created around the language principle. So just pay attention. I'm mobile. Check me out. I'm mobile. First thing, double eyes. Repetition. The twins. I'm mobile. I'm mobile. Roger, look what I bought. It's a... Roger, look. So we have... Ro Why is Roger? You tell me. He's on the stairs. What is he doing? He's looking mm -hmm. through. Usually you have the twins and the mountain, right? So here you have... A... Let's continue. Hamster ball, but I modified it. Uh-huh, that's a thing. Look at the down there planning my birthday party. Connections like capital B, birthday party. I'm turning 1600. The big one six double bagel. Right, what did he just say there? He's turning 1600. The double bagel. Right? The double O's from 007. Pay attention to what he's going to say now. I like spying. Right? So that's why he's, the whole script is built around references to the stair. The stair is at the center. It's looking through. It's at the stairs. They kept repeating. Double bagel. I like spy. He reference to mm -hmm. 007, right? My fanny is so high in the air right now. Hi, I'm... And he said, I like spy. My fan is in the air so high like now. So that's the double eyes. You think, oh, that, that's a thing just in here, right? But that's the thing. It's everywhere in music. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. This is the real life. It's just fantasy. Uh, caught in a landslide, so that's the double eyes, and say, but that's, you just caught like a two eyes sound there, say, no escape from reality, right, so you have the ideas of reality, open your eyes, so already you have the word eyes there, explicitly in the construction, right, look into the sky and see, so you have the idea of seeing, and look, right, so that was the highlight of the stare, yeah. right, and that's why the two eyes in everything, everywhere, all at once. James Bond. That's why you have the word James Bond, because capital B. So you see that everything's not just one thing. When you pay attention and you notice the language pattern, you see that it's absolutely everywhere. Mobile! Check me out! I'm mobile! First thing, double eyes. 